This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make my perfect steam engine for the mod pack we're playing. Um, this steam engine makes almost 150,000 stress units. And the components themselves are perfectly stressed in order to produce the most amount of forge energy from the alternators that are given with the uh, Create Crafts and Additions. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So first things first, we're going to want to take and uh, put down nine blazes like this. And then you want to give each one of them a straw. The straw is from, again, Create Crafts and Additions. And then once you give each one of them a straw, you want to come down underneath them. And you want to connect pipes to them. Now the way I like to do it is to not have any of them touch on the sides because then they'll do like that so i'll come in like this we'll grab a wrench we'll go ahead and make all of these clear then they won't connect and we can come in with the middle ones and do the same thing just like that and then we can connect them all and now we have an input for our fuel now the next thing you want to do is build the tank section of it for this you want the three by three of course and then if we look at this one here it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight blocks tall just like that and then we're going to go ahead and add 18 steam engines to the front 18 is the max amount of steam engines you can have on a uh, setup so we're going to go ahead and do this we're going to put them all on what would be the front that would be facing you. Here. Now the next part is a little bit tricky. We're going to want to grab some shafts. And when we place the shafts on these, you can see it gives us two options. Sideways and up and down like that. Vertical, horizontal. So we want vertical. We want that on each of them. And then we're going to make sure that we connect all of these. that all right and then we're going to get some encased chain drive we'll take this encased chain drive right here we're going to place it just like this Oops. so you want them going vertical like that you go all the way down just like this and they should be the same height as this here and then we're gonna add three more in the front here to connect them and now when these shafts rotate it'll cause all of these to rotate together which will give all of our alternators the same exact speed and rotation I'm gonna come down under here we're gonna place a shaft right here and then we're going to need a vertical gearbox. Take that vertical gearbox and we'll go right there with it. And then we're going to need a rotation speed controller, which I actually already have in my hotbar here. We're going to put that right there. We're going to set it to 128. Now this is assuming you're using lava. If you are using biofuel, you're going to want to set this to 256. And we'll get to that in just a minute. So we'll add our large cog wheel there. And then we're going to add one more encase chain drive. Now this cog wheel will spin all of this entire section here at 128, which will produce us, if we check over here, 8,000, you know, stress units and then 180 forge energy per tick per alternator. And that's pretty much it. Now we'll just have to input our water. You'll want two water sources. And the best way to get max water, you'll see we've got max size here. We almost have max, or uh, we don't have any heat yet because we haven't pumped anything in yet. Let me grab a water container here. Now this would be whatever water source you have near your engine. We're just going to use create tanks because we're in creative mode. Set that up like that, and then we'll get a cog wheel. Set that like that, grab a creative motor, 
and you want this set to 256. Now, the reason you want it set to 256 is that will give you the max water level pumping into this engine. And you can see we've already got the max water level there. Now, the next thing we need to do is get heat. Now, this engine is running off of lava. So, you can see the heat is perfectly at half. And we're inputting lava at a speed of 128. Now, if we do the exact same thing, except we input biofuel. Okay. small cog wheel here all right we set that at 128 now these blaze burners will be overheated and we will get max power from this now you see it generates 300,000 but if we add a stressometer to here there's still more remaining stress here so we can get more out of this so we'll take this to all the way to 256. And now we're perfectly stressed. And now we're producing 16,384 stress units and 360 forge energy a tick per alternator. All right, and that's the engine build. Now to connect it up to your system, you're gonna wanna get a large connector, not the regular connector, you want the large connector. You wanna go ahead and put that on each one. Alright, and then from there, you want to get gold wire. Don't get copper wire, you want the gold wire. Or Electrum, if your pack has Electrum, that will work as well. And then we just want to connect all these together. Now all those are connected to one, and we can grab an accumulator. Go ahead and set this up right here. All right, that's the max size for an accumulator. And we can start to store energy here. We want to set, make sure we set our connector to push. And then we can connect it anywhere on this. It doesn't matter. And then from there, we'll start charging energy. And you can see that this charges quite fast. Now, the great thing about this is it's modular. So we can just build another one here here and we can just keep placing them over and over again as long as we keep this this part separated so we'll hop into my survival world or the uh, innovation station server and we'll go check out my build there so you can kind of get an idea of how it works in a real All setting right. so this is my power station in the uh innovation station server that we play on this is the exact same thing that i just showed you in the tutorial it's just actually placed into the world with its own inputs. So I've got all my accumulators on the wall here. I have four of these engines running and I am feeding them with an infinite lava pool. You can see I've got the pump there, pumps up this guy and it pumps it in. So if we go check this out, we've got this pump running. You can't really see it because I've got a motor on it. We've got this pump running at uh, 128 just to keep these guys full. All these are perfectly stressed, just like you saw before. And then we've got this entire wall connected. I'll free cam here to show you. This entire wall is connected. And as you can see, I've just kind of tied all those connections together. And then we took one output and that goes out and gets stored into the batteries. We have a push and a pull connector on each battery. And that's connected up to a main line with all mode set to none so it just transfers energy without pushing and pulling and the lava is just like we did in the tutorial we've got the section of uh clear pipes and then a section of going down the middle to pump into them and then also back here i've got the water going in two per pump or two per engine um and i've just kind of lined it up so it looks nice here and then all that inputs into this cave and this cave is filled with water, so I have these pumps 
drawing from this cave filled with water as it's a large infinite source. And it's able to keep the engines going. And again, this is set to 128. Or excuse me, 256. Lava is 128. The water needs to be set to 256. Now, all I would need to do is to replace the line that's going here with lava with biofuel and change the speed of these four speed controllers. And I would be outputting literally double the power. And we touched earlier on making sure they're separated. So you want to make sure you use a belt on these top sections here instead of in case drives so that it doesn't connect otherwise you'll have problems but other than that that's it that's how you make the max power uh, alternator setup for create crafts and additions in the create one yeah yeah that's it for now thanks for watching and uh yeah we'll see you later Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Come check me out on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Friday42. And uh, maybe you could even end up playing on the server with us. And uh, this Enderman here.